Hello everyone, this is Kartik Selvaraj and in this video one of Apache ActiveMQ tutorials we will see a short introduction about what Apache ActiveMQ is and how to install ActiveMQ in Windows system. So ActiveMQ is an open source messaging platform written in Java. So it was started as an open source project in 2005 by a team called Cold Haas and later it is moved to Apache in 2006. So ActiveMQ supports some famous protocols like JMS and MQTT and there are more protocols which are supported by ActiveMQ as well. And ActiveMQ supports the PubSub architecture which is one of the main features required for a messaging platform. So now we can see how to install uh, ActiveMQ in a Windows system. So just google for ActiveMQ download and you can go to the first link. And you can see that this is a stable release version which is available but 5.13.2 but you can see the other snapshot releases as well but it is better to go with the stable release rather than to go with the snapshot release so we have to download the windows version so i'll download this one And you can click on any of these links to download this file. So I have already downloaded this file. So it's a zip file and I have unzipped it as well. So this is the unzipped file. So I'll go inside it. So you have to travel inside the bin path and depending upon your windows bits, whether if it is a 32 bit operating system or if it is a 64 bit operating system, go to the folder accordingly. So mine is a 64 bit one and run this ActiveMQ batch file okay. and in this in, this installation is not for an enterprise level installation this installation is only for your knowledge sharing purpose or to gain knowledge on what an ActiveMQ is because this installation is not a standard that needs to be used for enterprise installation okay. now I'll go to my browser And now, uh, as default, the installation happens in the local host on port number 8161. You could see the same in the installation steps as well. You can see 8161 is the service in which the web, web console is running on. So, that's it. ActiveMQ is ready for. Operations now, so you can go to this manage active brokers one. So, when you go for the first time, you will be prompted for a username and password. So, it the username is admin and the password is admin. So, as I have stored the password, it is not asking for the password. But for the first time users, please use admin as a username and admin as a password. And you can see many tabs over here. And uh, our ActiveMQ is up and running. So that's all for this video. So we can see about more basic stuffs in these subsequent videos. Thank you.